Hey YouTube, Techman45 here, back with another video. Sorry guys, I've been away for a little while, I had exams going on from school, but I'm back now. So let's get started. This is, a, this is quite a late of a video, but this video is going to be showing you how to get iOS 6 beta and iOS 6 beta 2 on your iDevice. Your respective iDevices that can be used onto iOS 6 are the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, the iPad 1, the iPad 2, and the 3rd generation iPad. So let's get started. The first two things you'll need is your, is your iOS 5.1.1 IPSW file and your iOS 6 IPSW file. To find these, you can go to these two websites. The first one, felixbrunes.de, this one right here felixbrunes.de slash ipod slash firmware and the second one you can go to imodzil just give it a second here right, you go to I, imzdl.com and I don't want you to download iOS 6 beta 2 but instead if you scroll all the way down um, yeah right here it says iOS 6 beta 1 for your respective iDevices you can choose from any one of these that are connected to your device and download them. So once you have once you have all of that, you need to connect your iPod or whatever you're using to to uh, thing download iOS 6, and you have to go into iTunes. So once you're in iTunes, you must restore until iOS 5.1.1. I just recently did that, so um, my device is just brand new and refreshed, so that's that's why it's gonna go on. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna show you guys how to restore onto iOS 5.1.1, and just for your guys' sake, I'm gonna actually do a clean restore again of iOS 5.1.1. So I've re-plugged in my iPod Touch that I'm using to restore. I'm going to let it access iTunes and we're just going to set it up as a new iPod and do uh, restore it again. I don't want anything to happen right now. Done. Alright, so I'm actually going to help uh, do the restore again just for you guys. So this is going to help you guys as well. And by the way, this tutorial is showing you how to get iOS 6 without a developer's account. So it's very helpful for you guys if you guys don't want to get your UDID activated or you want you don't want to pay $99 for an Apple developer account. So for Windows users, you must hold on to the Shift key and click the Restore button. For Mac, it's Alt and the Restore button. So I'm, I'm using Windows right now, so I'm going to hold the Shift key and click the Restore it's going to bring me into a window menu where I can search for my IPSW and I'm going to click on my iOS 5.1.1 IPSW and restore onto that. Alright, now I'm going to click restore. I'm going to let the restore process happen and right after the restore is done, I'll be back with you guys to continue on with this tutorial. So guys, I'm back. My iPod Touch is about to finish restoring. I just wanted to let you guys know that after this part, we're going to be activating our iPod Touch or your iDevice on iOS 5.1.1. And we must do this so we can get onto iOS 6. What I mean that we must do this is that once we get onto our home screen from all the regular things, you know, the, the setup stuff on iOS 5, right? We have the next step is to getting onto iOS 6, which is the most important key for this tutorial. As I said before, you can jailbreak iOS 6 beta, even if I have, sorry, I must have forgotten. Um, you can jailbreak iOS 6 beta, and I, we've already posted up a few videos on how to jailbreak iOS 6 beta. So if you don't want to continue watching this tutorial after we've gone into iOS 6 beta, you don't have to, because then you can go ahead and go down, uh, thing, what do you call, jailbreak it. But for this, for this video, I'm also going to be showing guys how to get iOS 6 beta 2. Because that's a very good update for you guys if you want to have more stability and stuff like that for more betas and stuff like that for iOS 6. 
So as you can see right now, I'm just going to connect, uh, activate my iPod. I'm just going to set it up as a brand new iPod. I don't care about anything else right now. I'm just going to hit on done and let this finish syncing. Once it has finished syncing, I'm going to unlock the iPod itself so I can prove that I'm on the home screen now. So I want to do all this stuff. I'm just going to click on the next one and skip signing in with my Apple ID. Agree. Don't send. And start using my iPod. As you can see now, we are now activated onto the iPod itself. So the next step is to get onto iOS 6. Instead of clicking, it's instead of doing shift restore, we're going to do shift check for update. So same thing, same process now. We're going to hold the shift key for Windows and alt for Macs and click on the check for update button. Yeah, I didn't hold on to shift. So hold on to the shift button, click on the update button. And as you can see, it brings us back to our window that we were at before when we were restoring to iOS 5.1.1. So now what we want to do is now click on our iOS 6 beta IPSW file and we'll open it and wait for it to restore and I'll be back with you guys once the restore is complete or, or the update at what I should be saying. I'm just going to click on the update button and I'll be back with you guys right after this. Alright guys, I'm back. My iPod Touch is almost about to complete updating onto iOS 6. I just want to let you guys know, right after we've been we've gotten back to our home screen, that in the description below, I'll be having links to my jailbreak videos and how to jailbreak iOS 6. So please go check out the description as you'll have links down there if you guys just want to stay in iOS 6 beta. The next part of this video will be mostly onto the iPod as we'll be doing an OTA update which is over the air update for iOS 6 beta 2. So I just want to let you know that we're going to be going straight back to the iPod and we're going to be doing iOS 6 beta 2. So pay attention. Um see now that the iPod has been is updated, we're just going to wait for it to restart. And we're just going to leave iTunes for now and we're going to head onto the iPod itself for the iOS 6 beta 2 update. I'm just going to let this finish rebooting. As you can see, it does take a bit of time just for all of this to load. And guys, right now I'd like to mention, I'd like to apologize to you guys for having such a late video and everything like that and having a few problems with our videos. Um, we've been kind of delayed at the moment, you know, for exams and other reasons. But now we should be getting back on track. And hopefully we'll be creating more videos every week for you guys. So as you can see now, the iPod Touch is back booted up and we are on iOS 6. So I'll even prove it to you guys that we are on iOS 6. Forget the passwords right now. General about. And right there, iOS 6.0 10A5316K. So now the next step of this tutorial is going back and you're going to stay in the settings options and we're going to go into oh crap okay whatever it doesn't matter the iTunes it was just backing up on iTunes um we're going to go into software update right here software update soft and as you can see right now it says right there iOS 6 beta 2 and it's already downloading it for us so now what I'm going to let it do is I'm going to let the download happen you guys can either click the download button right here and click and, uh, and just wait for this tutorial to come back while this is happening. As you can see, just two minutes of rating, so let me just quickly download this. And when I'm back, I'll show you guys what happens when we actually uh, update to this iOS 6 beta 2. Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, the download just finished. And now, all we're going to do is click the install button. And sorry guys, I can't show you the whole process because we're running out of time and the video has to be less than 15 minutes and we're almost already there. 
So I'm gonna pause the I'm gonna get back to you guys once the installation has finished. So we can end off this video and I can tell you that we are on iOS 6 beta 2. So I'm just gonna click the install button and let this process happen. I'm gonna click agree and now it's just gonna verify update. So guys, I'll be back right after this installation is finished. Thanks for being supportive. And I'll be I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back. As you can see, the iPod Touch is rebooting rebooting after the iOS 6 beta 2 update. And I'm just going to wait for it to update so I can show you guys that I am on iOS 6 beta 2. So guys, I'd like to say thanks for watching. As you can see, this tutorial did work as I said before. And I hope, and I'm going to have all the links in the description for all the downloads for the IPSW files mm -hmm. and the links for the videos on how to jailbreak iOS 6 beta, not beta 2, on in the description below. So please follow up on that. And I just want to quickly show you that iOS 6 beta does work. I'm sorry, iOS 6 beta 2 does work. So there you go, the iPod Touch did respond and it's booted up, as I, as you can see, you heard the whole thing, and there you have it, we're booted up onto iOS 6 Beta 2, and I'd just like to prove it to you that I am on iOS 6 Beta 2, by going to General, it's going a bit slow, yes, that's alright. And there we go, there's a new IPSW right there, 10A5338D, and plus we'll go into software update, and it should, oh, it should tell us that we're on iOS 6 beta 2, and yes, we're on the current update for iOS 6 beta 2. Uh, I just want to quickly cancel the backing up processes and everything like that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're on iOS 6 beta 2. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at Techman45. And if you guys like, please leave some suggestions in the description below for any new video ideas. And please ask, and let us know if you guys want any more social updates for getting more information to you guys. So, guys, thanks for watching. As you can see, we're on iOS 6 beta 2. And I'm happy that we got this over with. So, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.